All right. One plus two equals three. So if that's true, then with addition, I can switch it. Two plus one is also three. That is a rule. That means that with addition, I can switch the order of what I'm adding and it doesn't matter. But when I get down to the subtraction problem, if I want to come up with a subtraction problem with the same fact family of three, two, and one, this answer is locked in, but also, so is this beginning number here. I cannot move this beginning number with subtraction. So that means that three minus one is two, and three minus two is one, okay? That same thing is true with, with multiplication. Two times three equals six. Well, then three times two equals six because I can switch these because it's multiplication. Same rule with the addition. Same thing here. If I th have this locked in, the only thing that can be three times two is this, is six. This number has to be locked in. The beginning number has to be locked in with division, the same as with subtraction. That beginning number's got to be locked in there. But what I can do, so I don't know, 6 divided by, if I'm trying to divide 6, it's more difficult. But I know something times something equals 6. So if I can count by this something until I get to that number, I'll know how many. 2, 4, 6. There's 3. And if I can count by that number until I get to 6, then I'll know how many of this number I have in 6. How many I'm dividing the 6 into. How many threes are in six? If I had a whole arena full of people and there were six people in the arena, how many times could I pull out three? I could pull them out twice. Three, six. And that's how she's going to do this part. I don't expect her to do sixes, sevens, eights, or nines. But she can do two, three, four, and fives. And she can do those with that method. Five, how many times is 15 divided by five? If I had an arena full of 15 people, how many times could I pull five out? Five, 10, 15, three times. She can count by threes and she can count by fours and she can count by twos and threes, she can count by fives. So let's start there. She doesn't have to do six, sevens, or eights. So this one, threes. She can count by threes until she gets to 24. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. She might have to practice it a little bit to begin with. There's eight of them in there. So she, and she can also draw pictures. So if I want to count by threes until I get to 24, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, I don't suggest this because she knows the song. This is 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight instances of three in the number 24. Now she can do this if you think it'll help her, but I think that she can do the three song and I think she can do the four song. Sixes, don't worry about sixes. Don't worry about sevens. Don't worry about eights. Don't worry about nines. Unless she knows them, but I doubt that she knows them. We're gonna work on six, sevens, eights, and nines when she comes back and how to do those. The, um, yeah, that is, that's probably, yeah. So like twos, if I want to count by twos till I get to 12, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. That's six, two. So, and I also told her she could do it this way. Six times two equals 12. To write it backwards, that may also help. Or nine times, and she can, if you think she can do six, sevens, eights, and nines this way, nine times something equals 72. Now, if you want her to use her math fact sheet, that is something she can do for six, sevens, eights, and nines. But she should be able to do one, two, three, four, and five. Anything with a one, two, three, four, or five here. Six, seven, eight, nine. She can do, oh, and also zeros. She can do this by counting. And this one, the six, sevens, eights, and nines, she can do it with her sheet.